Somebody. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sick of you. Why? I'm sick of Della. Why? Because you sing better and better and better. And you it seems to me, I, I may be wrong, but it just seems to me that as we all did years ago, because we were all in that groove, mm -hmm. everybody, at least I think I've tried to do it as a as a variety <laughs> performer, you start to weed out the waste. Yeah. And there's nothing but just this. Right, straight ahead. And you're doing it, she does it, he does it as an actor. Mm -hmm. William B. does it, because there used to be a, a time where you had to say 22,000 words before you introduced the record. Right. So <laughs> William, you, you know what I mean. <laughs> right. I had to say in, in the confines of the individual <laughs> aspects of the <laughs> manifestations of the individuals that we now listen to, mm. and they're asking the musical question, yes. will you still be mine? <laughs> right. But you, and then you about, three, about three minutes and it's over. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. How's everything going? Great, great, Sammy, great. Man, listen, I tell you, I was, you know, I was in Las Vegas for a, 12 weeks, man. Yeah. Oh, you had to say that. <laughs> anyway, uh, I said, I'm going to take the month off. I'm going to just lay. I ain't going to do nothing, right? And the phone rang. said, Sam and company. I said, solid. You know? Thank you. Did I tell you this? It's cats, television, NBC, all around the place. You know, and I would go out and I would sit around, you know, and say, dynamite, man, dynamite. How you doing, man? Groovy, solid, man. Never did a show. And when they called me, I think I said, this has got to be a joke. Somebody's putting me on. While I was talking to the person on the phone, Sammy picked up the phone to call somebody else and got on the same line. Said, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> but see, but when you, when, you, when you came to do one, mm -hmm. you, as I said to, to Della, you did not come here to play. No. You came here to I'm do your thing. Serious. Serious. Very serious. <laughs> That's right. I tell you, you know, I was... Uh, it's a funny thing. We, I was talking about you last night because I was up north and uh, I had a chance to meet Pele, right? Soccer player. And we got to talk. Wait a minute. Hold it. Hold it. Wait a minute. You don't throw that away. No, wait, a man making four million dollars a minute. A minute. <laughs> <laughs> and you going to tell me something about. Oh, incidentally, I met Pele. And yeah. And he was talking about you, man. That's what I'm telling you. You're kidding. No, he was talking about you. He, he knows saying, me. He knows, yes. He no, I'm serious. No, I'm not, no, I'm not doing no, no joke. Because you don't think people from another country in another field would even know who you are. Oh, Sammy, man. No, I'm, I'm not kidding. You're supposed to go along with that, Lou. You know you're no, supposed, supposed to go along with that. <laughs> You know I ain't going along with that program. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, Pele is like the world's greatest soccer player. Sammy Davis Jr. is the world's greatest entertainer. Let's face that, right? Amen. That is worldwide. <laughs> right? I mean, you know, I tell you, I tell you what, I was down below the Cotton Curtain not too long ago. <laughs> yeah. uh, for those of you that don't know, that's the Mason Dixon line, you know. And uh, we were driving going from uh, Albany, Georgia to Tifton. And we stopped in this little town called Tai Tai. Yeah, it's about that big. <laughs> and we had to stop and get some gas. And so we were sitting there, and this old man was saying, Say, you boys from California? I said, yes, yeah, sir, that's right. I said, you know Sam Davis Jr.? I said, yeah. I said, I like him. That's I said, nice. yeah, everybody else does, too. <laughs> I said, do you, live, do you live where you live? Do you ever go by his house? I said, well, no, I still live in the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask one question of you. When you, you started the thing, let, I can't say you started it. What you did was you, you created uh, and made it more important than it ever had been because you weren't mm. the first person to talk on a record, right. tell a story. Right. But you made it. What gave you the thought to do that? Well, I was working the Chitlin circuit, Sammy. You know what that is. Yeah, I know what right. it is. And uh, every night I would get up on stage and I would be singing my heart out, man. And the dudes would be sitting around the bar and things, you know, and they'd be saying, yeah, man, you know, I was down there on the corner the other day. And they didn't even know there was anything going on, right? I said, it's got to be a way that I can get their attention. If I can get their attention for a second, then I can, you know, yeah. do my thing. So... I got to one night, I just got up, and instead of singing, I just got up and started talking the song. Yeah. 
I just started rapping and the music was playing. And all of a sudden I noticed the people start saying, what is he saying? What is he saying? Right? So I kept trying that. And then I came up with this thing about the South Side Hustler. Yeah. Right? About the white on white and white Cadillac, you know, that whole trip. And we recorded it. And it became a monster hit, man. So I said, hey, this is it. So I started doing it on all my songs. And then uh, a couple of other fellows, you know, the yeah. brothers in the business came along and they said, oh, man, oh, so and so is doing something new. I don't want to call no names, you understand? Know call names, call names, call names. <laughs> <laughs> no, what, names what names? What names? What names? <laughs> no, well, you know, uh, a dude that was uh, responsible for Shaft and a dude was responsible for Love Unlimited. You know them two dudes? Yeah, I think yeah. I know them two yeah. dudes. Yeah, they started doing it, and it was something new. Mm. Yeah, you know, it was cool. But you have a you have a way of uh, you have a way of doing it that that relates to everybody. And yeah, I try to do that. Yeah, but it's though it's innately black, it relates to everyone, which means something very special to me. Right. Well, everybody's paid dues. There you go. That's great. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen, and maybe he'll do another one for us before we leave. <laughs> 